Greetings and welcome to episode 21 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod USA campaign and this my friends that we left it last time where we had a tr series of tremendous fights my friends around the south here, the deep south here my friends Carolinas, Georgia um, Florida, really really some brutal fights here and indeed my friends we have actually destroyed quite a lot of all the forces the require sent towards us here and this these two armies here in particular the one in Savannah and the one in Charleston really have taken the absolute brunt of the fighting here against the Iroquois particularly the army I had here this army now is not as it once was as you can see here a lot of the forces have been either um, killed in action or we've had to bring in reinforcements which has changed the shape of the army my friends significantly as you can see we've only got two Republican Guard units surviving Republican Guard units left in this army here because the rest were actually killed during the fighting that's how vicious it was vicious fighting my friends so we're looking to try and put some more we need what we need to do is get some more artillery into this into this um, army here just to give it that 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 sort of better all-round shape because um, it really does require that you, you know, um, without artillery support, especially against the Iroquois, then you are really going to face quite an uphill battle. So I want to make sure that we are fully prepared for this fight here. Because as you can see here, we have a sizable army here in the port of Georgetown here. Look at that, that's a that's a pretty large force left there. And also we've got this significant army left here as well. They even got a cannon. So we've got to be careful we have to be careful we cannot just go charging into here hoping things are going to be absolutely fine they're not we need to get cannon my friends we need to get cannon on the ground so i've got 538 left what i'm going to, go, I'm going to start building some 12 pounders here in florida and that's going to be sent immediately to charleston or what i shall do is strip savannah of its artillery um, and i shall then use the uh, artillery coming in from florida to then fill out um, the Savannah garrison, which is what we're probably going to do. As you can see here, we did have our U.S. Marine Expeditionary Force, which again was involved in heavy, heavy fighting. As you can see, look at the casualties sustained here: 34 men left out of 188, 85 men left. The cavalry down to six men. That is how brutal the fighting was. It was absolutely vicious. But up here in the north, we did fare a little better here, a much, much better indeed. We've taken Cayuga and Niagara from the Iroquois, se securing these pretty heavily here. We did get, still get a little bit of trouble here from the uh, Iroquois population, but as you can see we're starting to slowly bring them into control here, which is what we need to do. So this garrison here is going to be tied down for quite a long time. Look at that. What a force. Look at the veterancy on these. These are these are fought with exemplary courage, my friends. They really have. And here in Niagara, what an arm. Look at that army. That is an absolute beaut. But as you can see, a lot of, a lot of casualties here. 21 men, 14 men left in that regiment of horse here. 81 men left here. What a brutal fight it was. It really was a vicious, vicious fight. And for some reason the British have moved this small task force here, this strike force here, just on the border between Upper Canada here and um, Niagara. I'm not particularly comfortable with that. And they do have a substantial amount of force here. Look at the forces they've got in these in Upper Canada. That is pretty scary regardless of what... I have available. That's why I'm keeping this force here. It wouldn't be able to hold off all of these if they come at once, but luckily I do have in the area this army which I was building up to be my brand new Republican Guard army, including the new 24 pounders which we managed to build last episode. So you can see packed out with Republican Guard. Um, already got some good veterancy on these. I was taking a bit of a beating there. So I'm going to probably upgrade him as a repair or replenish, should I say. And we are going to be replenishing or putting this army full here. We're going to get some more cannon in this army. Um, probably from Philadelphia here, as you can see. Philadelphia has been fully upgraded above this Independence Hall. That's what we need. We need to get Independence Hall next. But we don't really have 10,000 sort of available at the moment. Especially with two wars. One against the Iroquois, one against the Spanish. Brutal wars. But the Spanish have been very quiet of late. They've been very, very quiet. I think they've been too busy fighting Britain at the moment so I think they just we're just sort of on that sort of crest of a wave of being nice and quiet here at the moment we do also have this army in Boston which is brand new it has not seen action at all it is a green army but even then <coughs> it is finely tuned my friends to take on pretty much anything thrown its way 
but our focus must be down here. We have to keep the momentum going, but we need to clear out these two armies here. Probably using this army here in Williamsburg here. I'm probably going to use this army here once it's fully replenished. Um, it did come down from the f from uh, Philadelphia down to Williamsburg to retake this. Um, and it did have a s huge fight here with this army. That's all that's left of the army. But they have still got these significant forces in the area. Um, but I think that's all we can probably do with it, to be honest. We've got 44. We've got coming in next turn. 25,000. Look at that. And the tax income is actually almost paying for the army, which is absolutely the thing it's, it's so perfect my friends to have that it really really is this is just sort of just under 10,000 shy of keeping the army on top now that is a sign of a, a prosperous economy when your tax income is almost paying for your army that is unbelievable because that pretty much frees up all of this trade almost entirely as our sort of gross income which is absolutely fantastic we're still holding New Spain but for some reason the Spanish have just sort of you know, sort of secure themselves along the coast here of the Pacific Ocean and just stayed here. If they were to combine together, they could probably take New Mexico back off us and we would lose 2,320 in income. But they haven't done that yet, but they do have this on the border here. I um, still don't know what they're going to do here. But anyway, my friends, enough of my talking, of my yabbering. Is there anyone else we can trade with? Not that we really need it. But call and they're indifferent. Let's just try. Let's just, let's just try. <laughs> Not a chance. Not an absolute chance. I'll take that. <laughs> Unfriendly with the Crimean Khanate. Not really bothered about those taking our offer because we are going to be enemies with them eventually. But let's end the turn, my friends, and let's see what happens. Let's see what comes our way. Or what doesn't come our way, hopefully. And what a campaign this has been. This has been an absolutely phenomenal campaign. It really has. It has seen not only the best but also the worst the campaign can give in terms of the fight. The fighting has been absolutely brutal. First against the British, then against the Spanish, then against the Iroquois. Who knows what will come out of the woodwork next, my friend? And Prussia. We've been fighting four enemies in the past, either all together or one at a time. And it really has been a significant challenge to keep these armies afloat. Keep, wait a minute. Easy there, Britain. Easy. But look at Britain. They are absolutely prosperous. Like you would not believe that is a heck of an army they got there available. Looks like they're going to try and crush in possibly the bar remains of the Barbary states. <clears throat> As you can see, look at Russia. Russia's in a lot of trouble here because the Ottoman Empire has expanded exponentially here. Look at this. It has absolutely absorbed at least half of the Russian Empire here. Can Russia respond? I don't know, my friends. It's going to be a tough fight for them. France, which has sort of carved itself out quite a nice little empire here with the it's taken the Netherlands, Prussia, don't do anything silly, Prussia. Don't do anything silly. I'm warning you because I'm ready for you this time. You absolute fiends. It acquired what are they gonna do? What are they going to do? Ooh, this force came from nowhere at all. Oh, they're moving away. That's okay. Knights of St. John, <coughs> who are actually pretty much, yeah, well they are blockading the Spanish there, so I mean Spain should be taking quite a bit of significant income damage here. Let's look what the Ottomans are going to do. Because my word, the Ottomans have expanded so fast into Russia. Italian states, nothing at all. Ooh, have they indeed lost? No, they wouldn't have lost anything yet. I wonder know what Russia, how Russia is going to respond here. Will Russia try and take something back? Nope, nothing at all here. <coughs> Persia. What will they be doing indeed? Sweden. We are trading with, but of course they're, they're their trade port, their main trade port has been blockaded by the Russians. So that is not good for us, otherwise our income would be astronomical. Yeah, the trade lines have been hit, that's why, damn it. Yeah, trade route port, Valdo Kraus. Ho ho ho! Look at that, beautiful. Yes, sir. 
And you, sir, shall be ending up in there. And we shall be recruiting two more here. Oh, look at that, the mines. 900 there, my friends. Beautiful. In main. So those mines have been upgraded now to full industrial mining complex. Look at that. That is a phenomenal. 36, 5. Oh, look at that. That army of keepers jumped quite a bit here. We need to try and keep pace with it as best we can here. So <clears throat> we'll have a few of these buildings upgraded. This will definitely help here. 1,250 per, per turn. That's fantastic. Oh, look at that. 4,900. Whoa. <gasps> 2,000, look at that, 12, plus 12 per turn, right, I'm definitely going to upgrade that, spend the money on that for definite, got to keep our economy at full pace, my friends, absolutely full pace here, craft workshop, we're going to bring everything up here, what have I got going on here, tobacco plantation, which is good, oh. I think we'll have a governor's residence here, keep everything ticking over, this. I'm not going to repair any of these here, because all they're going to do is keep on raiding, we just got to wait for our army to be replenished here, and four thousand. Well, money well spent. We'll bring these up to full. It's going to take a few turns for them to get there. Oh, oh, they're ready. They are ready to fight. So what I am going to do then, if, if that's the case, I'm going to take out these two cannon, move them in. Immediately. Ready and waiting that army is now fully. Yep, it's got a good complement now of artillery. We might go for this fight here and take these out. We need to remove, because it looks like they're starting to build up their forces a bit here. And I don't like that. <coughs> I don't like that at all. Ooh, yes. Now we're out. Yes, the, our marine expeditionary force is ready. It is ready. It is available to fight. So we are going to take the fight into Iroquois territory. More orders. We're actually going into here blind as well, my friends. We cannot... I would build a fort, but it's on our territory yet, so I am going to hit, try and hit uh, Chikasa here. I don't have any eyes on this. Where's my spies here? I've got a rake here, but he's going to stay. I don't have any, have any of the spies at all, so we do need to start getting a few spies recruited if possible. Um, 10, I'm not going to spend 10,000 on a building just yet. Oh, that's coming together quite nicely there, actually. Um, I'm going to build another army here I think two more cannon and we're gonna have can't build any more there but what about here 9,000 I'm not gonna repair any of these because we will just be raided again there's absolutely no point in doing that it's a waste of money that there indeed can be brought back up to spec thank you very much all of these buildings, all of these villages and towns will be bringing quite a substantial amount. 25 bales of sugar here as well. Cotton plantation, 31 bales is going to bring in a nice amount here. So the train will be flowing down through here. Anything else here at all? No, but we are going to hold here in the south, and we just got to wait for this army here to be replenished. 4,000 we've got available to us. I think what I'm going to do, though, with that money is I'm actually going to start improving my fleet a bit more as well. Another Admiral's flagship, I think, first rater coming up. Thank you very much. And that, my friends, will provide us with a good enough fleet here to challenge anything that comes our way. I do really want to make this an absolute full stack um, navy here. As you can see, a very, very experienced, battle hardened um, fleet I have here. Really has been in quite a number of fights. Look at this one here. Look at this. The Jamaica has been in significant number of fights. Look at the look at the echelons it has here. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think everything is pretty as good as we can get it at the moment. <coughs> and I believe everything has full infrastructure, full metal rows is what we need. Indeed, and here. Yep, that's going good well there as well. And what about here and the south? Make sure everything is absolutely as best we can get it here. Yep. 
And what about here? Oh, do I give that up to it? Oh, ho, ho, no. <clears throat> so, no, new New Orleans and new n needs metal roads. We need it for that wealth. Every single drop of gold we can squeeze out of our economy is going to be needed. It really is, my friends. I absolutely kid you not. Because when war comes, and it will come to us again, possibly with the British, we need to be absolutely at the top of our game here for this. 21,764. It's dropped a little bit here. We're getting... Oh, look at that. Sweden's completely cut off. Um, and we just have absolutely been butchered here. This trade route has been absolutely butchered. And Russia as well. But still this start... They're squeezing trade through to us. But we need to get our internal economy to be able to soak up the army upkeep. That is the absolute goal here in terms of the economy. If our army... If our... In our tax income can actually, you know, pretty much absorb most of the cost of the army. Then, my friends, then we really have absolute hit our our stride. We've hit the ground running beautifully. But again, I have to keep my eye on Britain. I just have to focus on what Britain. Look at the look at the forces they've got. That is a scary amount of forces they've got there at their disposal. It really, really is. And with that, I have to. We have to stay focused here. And ever vigilant, ever vigilant, never taking our eye off, even our allies, even our friends, even our neighbours. Looks like France is still bitterly at war with Britain. My only, my only interest here with this is that the, the trade routes stay, I don't care who fights who, as long as they keep their trade coming in at, to, to us, that is the main goal. Look at that, Prussia's hitting Sweden as well. That's going to hit our income as well, see. It quite Oh, hang on a minute. Nice to see John taking on the Spanish single-handedly. I admire their courage. And Mughal Empire. <coughs> Afghanistan. What about the Ottoman Empire? How is that going to fare? Because they really have taken the fight to the Russians in a huge way. Savoy, Russia. Now, how is Russia going to respond to these developments here against the Ottomans? What will they do exactly? Oh, they're building up quite a force here. Nothing at all here, so it looks like they're just going to allow the, the Ottomans to take and hold what they've got here. The, oh. Spain, which is... For some reason, not dealing with the Knights of St. John, for some reason, I don't know why. Sweden. Which I hope can actually fight back against... Oh, look at Sweden. Jeepers Creepers. They're going to say... I bet you they're going to close that off there. Yes, indeed, they are. Marvellous. This is what I mean, my friends. We cannot allow, allow on trade. Just solely on trade. We have to get our internal economy up and running here. What's like that? 23,000. Not too bad. 37,000 here coming in. Very nice. Our aid to camp. Ho ho ho. That's a beautiful sight there, my friend. Look at that. Domide. 
a doy mead and that's going to be joining its comrades here we are going to keep one fleet and that's going to be guarding New York at all costs oh look at that look at that beautiful and we want to get this upgraded as soon as we possibly can dockyard and then we're going to be looking at upgrading it again let's keep this going here we've got to keep that income absolutely the main goal here of everything that we do but I'm gonna have to deal with these Iroquois very very soon first of all let's make sure we've got everything as best we can here indeed three more turns there oh four thousand there oh should we have a military governor's in camp? I might think I might have a military governor no I really want to squeeze as much as I can I need to put in a state house and a governor's residence here we are going to have that oh four and a half thousand how's fur like how much is fur bringing in here to the economy fur is 27 not brilliant at the moment I'll probably what's the actual trade like here for fur <coughs> So Ottoman Empire is taking a lot of fur off our hands, and so is France. So is Great Britain taking a lot of fur. Yeah, it's actually fur is actually so much, much more popular than actually tobacco. Ottoman Empire is taking a ton of tobacco and fur. I might upgrade that just for the Ottoman Empire here because they are they are going to be quite a quite a, a good customer in terms of the fur trade. So we'll do that there. Four thousand of that, not yet, not just yet, my friends. Nope. I'm gonna. Oh, I need to. I need to actually bring this army here up to full. We do have these gentlemen. We are going to start building another army. We must have sent this army back into there. Which is fine, that's what we wanted to do. So we've got Philadelphia pretty much covered here. I am going to have to deal with these armies, these Iroquois armies, for definite. Um, Okay, that's been brought up here. We shall leave that as it is. Let me just we're gonna we're going to use the Marine Expeditionary Force here to strike into the territory. Ooh, look at that. That's a sizable force they've got right there. So we are gonna strike into these. <coughs> they will be supported here, reinforced by this, but we're gonna go into Chicasa here. Pretty hard actually pretty hard indeed and I am going to start repairing these now because we are actually going to bring this fo force to battle we need to get this economy in the south here and the Carolinas back up because it's going to be needed as you can see here 37, 30, 48,000 we're just slightly behind here anyone else we can trade with here we just need to keep that trade coming in they're indifferent which is fine Okay, not a problem for me. France, very friendly. Who are France at war with? Actually, they're not at war with Britain at all. Spain they're at war with, which I do find very surprising. Spain hostile. I wonder if we can get peace with Spain. Let's have a look if we can get peace. Okay, they're not happy with us at all, which is fine. Friendly with the Ottomans, friendly with the Mughal. Great Britain is fine with us. Actually, they're very friendly with us, Britain. Austria is indifferent. I'm not really worried about that. They do have a lot of allies here. What about, what about Prussia? Can we get some peace with Prussia, maybe? Okay, alright. Uh, let's see if they've got any tech... Nope, they've got all the technology they can want. That's fine. <coughs> You stay like that with us. I don't have a problem with that at all. 
Anyone else I can upgrade while I've got this money here? Uh, no, indeed I can't. So we'll actually keep, we'll keep, actually build, create some, oh, I know what I wanted to do, I beg your pardon my friends, is the infrastructure here needs to be created, metal roads, perfect. But we are going to take this army to battle very, very soon, as soon as these gentlemen are up and running, so that means I'm actually going to cancel what I've done here to these, because this army's not ready yet, and all we're doing is wasting money, because they'll just come along and just raid all of this. Mind you, this army could be taken. And there's no point in waiting any longer. Let's take that fight. Battle, march. How are they looking? They're actually not in too bad shape at all. Actually, they are pretty good. This is a much, much better... Oh, actually, they're full. They've actually been replenished. Whew. This is going to be quite a fight here. We're actually taking the fight to them as well, so it's going to be even more difficult. And we've got two militia units in here. I've left Charleston open here. We're going to not do that. We're actually will cancel that attack. I want to. I want to take out these here and then use this army here to come down and move it with the Charleston army. Combine them together, so we can take that force on. Just a bit of patience. A little bit of patience. We are going to move in against the Iroquois here. We do have a good complement of troops here. Let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. See how the Iroquois respond to our invasion of their home territory here, because we really are in sort of Cherokee territory there. Great Britain, we were friendly with us there. It's okay. Dow, oh, don't hit the Ottomans, because that's going to affect our income severely here. I think silly now, Britain. No, I think silly at all, Barbary states. You remain out of the way as well. Austria at war with no one. France. Reading like fiends. Nothing silly, Prussia. Nothing silly. It are quite now. Are they going to start sending troops down? Oh, you sneaky fiends, look at that. That's going to be a heck of a fight right there. Dare I risk a new strategy here to try and eliminate the Iroquois in that area in, in its total... In its total... I could manage that, possibly. Might be a bit risky, but it's something I might have to do. Russia. They've kicked them out there. What are they doing about the Ottomans? Absolutely nothing at all. Not a thing. Ottomans still have a great swathe of... Well, looks like Sweden have kicked them out of there.
right here in lower, lower Louisiana. They've moved down here from Upper Louisiana. I've got to be careful I'm not scored on the hop here. I really have to be careful. Because that army there would give us a little bit of trouble. So just to make sure I'm not caught out. And we are actually all oh, 26,000. That's oh, that's quite nice. I think I'm going to make that a state capital here. Well, two more turns. Let's have a look. Plus one of management of the army administration. Oh. <laughs> oh, indeed. Yeah, Building together a force. You're another force. Fantastic. It took a long time to get there, but we did it. This is now really starting to really boost our income significantly here. Little rock. Yeah, mine must have been hit there pretty badly here. damage quite a lot there. I need to take that out. But do I move these forces up here to try and take this out here and help them? Because they're going to be... That's a lot of forces here. To be able to take on by yourself, that's a lot for this army to take on. <coughs> I'd say that's a full stack army there with these in, in, in reserve as well. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send in that army there. Florida is going to produce some more troops. We're going to build another army here, which is going to be used to build it. But I am going to actually move. That's going to be quite the fight right there. If I lose this army, then all of this will be open up to them. I might even lose lose Lower Louisiana. So that's a fight that is going to be take a significant chunk of our army there to, to do this. We're fighting well over a stack there, so we'd have to really, really buckle down quite a lot here. These marines would be under a severe lot of pressure. Okay. First things first, I believe, is a deal with this army here. We are going to take the fight. This is the fight we're going to do. We're going to use this army then. I'm oh, probably going to take them out, but actually we're going to take this fight here, my friends. This army is then going to be used to move in and support the marines. Wow, this is going to be an absolute... This is the clear-up operation. This is an operation we need to do to clear the south. If we can get rid of these two armies that are tying down so many of our forces, we can then free them up to be able to push elsewhere. But I need to eliminate this force in its entirety, my friends. In its absolute entirety. If we can do that, and we, we stand ourselves good in terms of what we can do here. difficult task against such a formidable and courageous foe. Remember, my friends, these are not just sort of, you know, they use an axe and a club and that to beat you to death. These are really strong, courageous, ferocious warriors, experienced warriors. You have to give them the utmost respect at all times, otherwise they will destroy you. Even a small force like this will severely give you a lot of trouble here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. What? Whoa, look at that. That is an absolute sheer cliff here. <whistles> and here, either side, look at that. Whoa. But I think what we can do <coughs> is use our cavalry to do most of our, f our heavy work here. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful location. Oh, my word. That is absolutely beautiful defensive position here was not expecting that so we can first thing to do is move our general out of the way then we are going to have our let's move these troops into a better formation here for us to be able to organize ourselves right our guns are going to be sitting just on the off off front here so we've got three 24 pounders which is believe me that is an absolute brutal firepower here it really is gentlemen forward please thank you what are we looking at? Look at that. This pretty much cuts the deployment area in half. What a field of fire. 
and then we're going to put our brave regiments in <clears throat> there's just the the point here of this who shall we have here for our first I think we'll use the 42nd as our first line defense here perfect look at that right on the edge of these cliffs here actually let's send them we can't oh. so it looks like they, oh of course they got that with this that would you believe it? Look at that. That bale there is actually stopping them from going forward. That is crazy. Yeah, so that's the best we can do here, is to be there. Which is fine. That's absolutely fine. We can still fire down into the village here. Not perfectly, but still. We will have men either side. We'll have the 70th Regiment on the right. Again, this will be our defensive position here. A defensive position. And actually, these gentlemen here can actually be sat back just a fraction here just so we don't start hitting our own troops again still got a good fire range 69th regiment now these gentlemen can be moved forward <coughs> ho, 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 ho. <coughs> beautiful 70 seconds we are going to cover the flanks though because there's a chance if they can't get up the cliffs what they will merely do is move around the sides so we have to be careful that we cover our flanks here we should have got the 72nd 76th regiment we'll be going on the right here again covering our flanks full three lines please gentlemen look sharp look sharpish gentlemen our general again by here out of harm's way 43rd regiment again stretched full out here actually Look at that. What a beautiful sight. Covered then by this wall here, by this regiment. And we're going to have 73rd Regiment on the left. Two regiments. Set 22nd, 20th, <coughs> out here on the right. Two regiments. Again. 12th and 24th we do have um, a small actually we'll have I will have one regiment in reserve I think so we can shift it to wherever it needs to be when they, they will be sat they will be put here and I take it off that we're going to send out a task force of four regiments and these four regiments will be used or put into good use to attack into the Iroquois. We're not going to be sat back and loiter. Actually, that there is covered by this village. It's not going to be very good for our deployment, is it? We're going to. We need the open space. So they're actually going to be coming in from the right-hand side here with the cavalry there. I think, my friends, that's a pretty good deployment here in terms of our defensive formation and our attacking ambitions. Let's begin. There they are. Let's send out the scout to send out the strike force. Let us move, please, gentlemen, into position. Oh, look at that. Good day to you, sir. Move it, lads, move it. Well, well, well. Of course they're impetuous. They think they've they think they've got this area completely under their control. I beg to differ, good sir. Let's get on them straight away. Let's not give them any br breathing space at all. Ho oh, ho ho, what a fight that was. Gentlemen, if you would please, double time!
Out of there. That's a direct order. Don't give them any rest, my lads. Nothing, not a single thing. Oh, God, they've gone. They've been broken. Get out. Run, 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 run. They've taken on far too much. But still, remain st steadfast, lads. We're actually going to shift this regiment, the 78th, right over to the right-hand flank here. Left-hand flank, even. Double time it. Double time. They're shattered. And they're shattered. Doesn't matter. That's okay. Absolutely shattered to pieces. Beautifully done. Hold, lads. Hold. to me not a chance get in there lads get in there give them hell Oh, they've broken. They've been absolutely smashed to pieces here. We have to hold them here where we can sort of dismantle them bit by bit here. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Don't give them any. Come on, are they shattered? They're shattered as well. That's okay. Oh my word, look at that. What a. F that was a beautiful shot. They've done a marvelous job here. Four regiments have absolutely dismantled pretty much this entire. Don't give them anything, lads. Don't give them charge. Don't let them charge. <laughs> They're shattered as well. That will teach them. That will teach them.
Yeah, they're not so tough now. Not when you get... Oh, look at that. What a beautiful shot there. Those regiments will be rebuilt. They will be rebuilt, my friends, but it has to be... We have to break these. It's as simple as that. Oh, lads, hold, oh, damn you. That's it, go on, get in there. Around the boulder. We're feeling it now, we're really feeling it now, we're broken. Shattered. Here it goes, here it goes. Oh. Well, let's run. They're wavering. They're under sustained barrage. They're shattered. They should be rebuilt, though. Twelve men. So courageous here. Broken and broken. So they will be able to come back. That's not a problem at all. Just these warriors. A few bowmen. Let's deal with these warriors here. They've given us so much trouble here. And we've shat there. They, they, they played their part, though. They played their part. Right, no, it's, it's okay. You've done your duty. You were out there while the others were still in the defensive formation. In your own time, lads. In your own time. Please begin the fire. Please begin the barrage. It's more like it. <laughs> Really is a joyous sight, my friends. A joyous sight. Impetuous. We've eliminated one of our our most fierce enemies here. Come on, lads, let's have that improved firing here. Speed up that reloading. Move. Steady there in the backs. Steady there. Ah. Shattered, they've gone. They've had enough. Yes, we've done it, my friends. That's the total annihilation of that army. Absolutely, yes. Look at that. What a beautiful sight that was. What a beautiful sight. Whew. That was a fight and a half there. Still tough. They still took out four regiments and four regiments of cavalry. That's how tough they can be. So you have to be fully prepared, my friends, to commit hard against the Iroquois. Native Indians are exceptionally good fighters here. We lost 167 men. They lost pretty much everything. Statistics, line infantry did exceptionally well. Regiment of horse too. That's right, you just clear off there. Definitely get that repaired there. Then 
this army here. It did take a bit of a beating, but still, it's still going to be used for this fight here. And I think, my friends, we shall take this fight next episode. Look at that. What a beautiful situation now. Now we've got a reserve. And now we've got a reserve. Because when you're facing such an army as this, they are fully replenished. They are ready. That is, you saw what happened when I just took on this small force here. I know we've left the Carolinas open here, but we can still move back after the battle. So what we'll probably do is move this army up to here to destroy this army as well. We'll finish these off. And that way then I've got the, I've got the army in the south here then in um, Savannah here, which will be sent up this way to help reinforce the Marine Expeditionary Force with a further sort of um, army and those will then barrel down upon them but this is what we're going to do this is the fight we're taking next episode I always wanted to make sure that whenever I fight a full stack native army that I'm at least doubled up on them so that means I've got f well, you know five and a half thousand men nearly here and they've got three and a half thousand so you know that is what we're up against here we needed to make sure we need this reassurance that we're going to do well against them here we can finally rid ourselves of this army here and get this port back open again bringing trade in which is what we need that means our tax income is going to be v shoot up after we get that we'll rid ourselves of this small army here and then these armies will then be available to move up into the Iroquois territory to be able to fight against the Iroquois in their homelands which means taking them down at last once and for all, all we'll have then is um, Port du Cain, which um, which is definitely what we need to take here in Detroit. Um, and as you can see, there's got a, quite a bit of trade going through here. So we definitely need to, f to sort of finish them off here in Michigan. Probably moving an army here. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. I'll move it from Niagara down to Detroit here. And they've still got a sizable force here. Right here, they got the quite a sizable force there. So when you got to do take that out ASAP before they start building up a sizable army here to just pester us and bother us here, like, and they might even send it south. But my friends, this is the battle we're going to start next episode with, and it's going to be a huge battle. And this is the last great Iroquois army in our territory. It is the, f the you know the last sort of full stack army they send in our territory. If we can destroy this, we can maul it. If we can bring it low, or lay it low, my friends, we really have set ourselves up with the opportunity to finally crush the Iroquois in its entirety and bring all of their land into the rest of continental U and we will then have all of the continental US at our disposal and it will be ours at last. We will fully, apart from Texas and um, Fort Nashwack. We don't have those, we don't have those lands yet, but the majority of then continental USA is then under our control. And then we're going to start looking further afield, i.e. we're going to be looking at Spain, Spanish territory, this South America. If we get South America, that is going to open up, that is going to open up ter uh, possibilities. You cannot even believe, my friends, because the income, the economy that, that is going to bring to us, you know, the, m the, m the money that's going to bring to us, the possibilities with that economy that's going to get for us is going to be absolutely off the chart it really is we can start looking further afield but first of all let's let's fight let's win against the Iroquois that's our immediate goal then we're going to bring all of these lands back up to full absolutely gr upgrade every single building to the most it can be I mean every single building is going to be at full capacity I'm going to absolutely draw every single every single gold piece out of this economy I can on our land here without having to rely on anybody for trade. Trade is important to us, but our internal economy, what well, I said to you before, almost an isolationist type of uh, strategy here, where we just trade with those who want to trade with us, but we keep our own economy, we look after ourselves, we look after, we make sure that we are producing our own goods, we're feeding our own people, we're making our own money, so that if anything happens with, uh, with other people from, diff from different parts of the world, it won't affect us that much. That's my goal. So that's why South America is so important to our plans, because it will make us self-sufficient. We won't have to worry about trade. Only with those who are friendly with us, and even if they drop down off the scale, if we take a few of them out or if they declare war on us, we can look after ourselves, my friends, and that is the goal. But as you can see here, this is the fight we're going to take next next uh, ter episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe, my friends. Please keep your comments coming down below. I promise you I will answer every single comment. I know that it's been a while since I've responded, but, you know, 
with things being so busy at the moment, my friends, I, I, I'm just, just, just finding that time to comment and uh, reply. But I will definitely reply to all of your comments, even if they have been sort of a week old or so. Um, I haven't forgotten. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're having a good weekend. And until next time, my friends, bye for now.